Bonjour tout le monde, I'm Diane. Welcome back to We in France. And let me just say, wow, are people opinionated. Now, over the years, I have heard all kinds of assumptions about the French via my blog, here in the YouTube comment section, as well as in person. And they range from stuff you've heard before, the stereotypical stuff that's positive and negative, to the more crazy off-the-wall assumptions. And many times, the shocking part is that people saying these things, they've never even been to France, and they don't even know a single French person, or at least not well. So to that end, I want to get into five myths about the French that I hear over and over, and we just need to put them to rest. And for the record, they're not just coming from Americans. So with that, let's go. All right, myth number one, all French people have bidets in their bathrooms. Now, funnily enough, the only standalone bidet that I've seen in a private home was back in New Jersey. One of my elementary school friends, she had a bathroom with a bidet, which is not typical of American homes, might I add. And I have never come across one in France, except in hotels. And that's not to say they don't exist. They do. But they definitely aren't as mainstream as the media would lead you to believe or as a bathtub or a sink. They're not as common as those things. And they're usually seen in very old homes, unless a homeowner specifically wants one in their bathroom. Now, my house, it was built in the 1950s. It does not have a bidet. And most new builds, they really don't have bidets either. But something gaining popularity in the U.S. that I've seen are bidets that are attachments that you kind of clip onto your toilet seat. And some of my family members, that'll remain nameless, they rave about theirs. It, it heats the seat so your buns don't get cold. If you go stumbling into there, into your bathroom at 3 a.m., they have LED lights around the rim, different colors that um, act as a nice touch and a nightlight. But Bidets in France in everyone's house? No, that's old school. All right, number two, that all French people are well-dressed. And this is a definite no, definitely not. There are people all over the world who have super stylish looks. You know, they look put together at all times. Those who don't care at all. And then a whole bunch of us who fall somewhere in the middle. And France is no exception. That said, just like New Yorkers, Parisians generally tend to be better dressed in their day-to-day -day lives than people from you know, suburbs or out in the countryside. So that holds true. And I would also say that French people's regular casual is often a step up from what you you might find the average American throwing on just to go out and run errands. Now, you'll probably never see a French person. I'll never say never, but you really would not commonly see a French person just running out to the store in their flannel PJ bottoms. I used to see that a lot in college in the U.S. But just to set the record straight, not all French people look like they just stepped off a runway. And just a little P.S., they're not all slim either, although you will see fewer obese people in France than the U.S. And it might really surprise you to know there's a lot of diversity in how people dress, especially outside of big French cities. You know, French women, they'll dress for their own personal style or lack thereof in some cases, the region, the climate, um, budget, what their activity level is going to be, and a bunch of other factors, as you'd probably expect. A point I want to stress is that French people don't all dress any one way, and they're certainly not all these upper class, um, they're even upper middle class fashionistas, like they're not Emily in Paris. You will see the French in sneakers, in shorts, in baseball caps, in casual clothes. You know, you, you see people in tracksuits with dirty sneakers. Believe it or not, I regularly see French folks out in workout wear. This is a newer development. You know, here in my small town, going to the grocery store, still in clothes from the gym. Their yoga pants and their gym sneakers. And there are loads of French people who dress sloppily and couldn't care less about labels or looking trendy or even put together. So it exists. And I have a, a separate blog post all about French style and how to dress in France if you're coming to visit that you might like. So I'll link that blog post below. All right, number three, all French people speak English and they just pretend not to, to annoy tourists. If you visited other countries in Europe, you might get the impression that all Europeans speak English really well. But the French, they're not really in this group. They aren't known for being great at English, like Nordic countries or maybe the Dutch or some Germans. You know, there are definitely... French people who studied English in school, at some capacity at least, but the majority, they aren't anywhere near fluent. Now, I've also heard people say that the French pretend not to speak English as a way to just annoy the tourists, but I don't think this is the case. Maybe some French people out there have a chip on their shoulder, but most of the time, the vast majority of the time, people's inability to speak English, it comes from a genuine place. They either aren't capable or they aren't confident. And don't be swayed by all these French people seemingly speaking English well in a tourism capacity. That is normal. If they're working as a tour guide or at a hotel, 
yes, you're going to get the impression that French people speak English really well. But if you kind of go outside that tourism bubble, you're going to see that's not the case overall. And just back to confidence, what I just said, French teachers can be a bit harsh. I used to teach English in French schools. And I've heard from French people that they were often afraid to speak up as students because they'd been ridiculed as a kid for just kind of making mistakes in front of others for trying, right? And then they stay silent. So as an adult, they've kind of ingrained that act of being reprimanded and they're a bit hesitant to try and they, they fear sounding stupid in front of others. And just to this point, I recently asked my French YouTube followers if they'd help me out with an upcoming video. Now that's been put on the back burner. But I asked them to record a quick video clip in English, like 10 seconds, and I only got a couple of responses. So thank you to the two of you who actually sent me a clip. I appreciate that. But commenters explained something I didn't expect, that they're too self-conscious to speak English publicly and didn't want to risk making a mistake and be on video. And that made me really sad. Every time I speak French, every time I open my mouth, I make a mistake. So, yeah. And there are French people who speak great English. My husband, Tom, he's never lived in the U.S. And there are Americans who speak great French, but they're in the minority, but they do exist. All right, number four, that French people hate Americans. And I see this one in my YouTube comments all the time. Usually it's a justification for why someone won't visit France. And it's not true. It's total BS, really. I've never felt hated by the French for being American. If anything, I would say French people are actually pretty happy to meet their first American in person. Remember, I live in a small town. And then they go on to ask questions about Hollywood, New York City, things they've heard on TV. And they can't understand why an American would trade in New York for small town France. And they'd ask me, you know, why are you here, Dianne? But yeah, I've had rude comments over the years, but they've come from people who I feel are projecting their own insecurities and hangups onto me. And it's not actual hate for Americans and even about me at all. I feel like that projection thing, it goes for rude comments in general. But if anything, the French may not like American politics. I mean, heck, a lot of Americans don't like American politics. You know, where they don't like the policies, they don't like our government. But on an individual level, I don't think the French people hate Americans just because that has not been my experience at all. Although I will say there are hateful people in all countries, I just don't find them to be in the majority. Okay, myth five, all French people are experts about wine and cheese and are expert chefs. And this is not the case. French people, they are not all born with innate knowledge about selecting the perfect wine or properly cutting brie. They don't all know how to prepare French dishes from scratch. And I say that kind of laughing because I hear this stuff all the time. People honestly believe that. And even an uncle of mine, I won't tell you which one, he asked Tom to help him pick out some wine at the liquor store for Thanksgiving. And he was baffled why my French husband, Tom, couldn't really help him with the wine. Well, Tom doesn't really know much about wine. He doesn't drink wine. And yes, he's French. You know, eating habits, drinking habits, they are learned like anywhere. So if you're not really a cook and you don't really care for food, you're not a foodie, you're not just going to know this stuff like the back of your hand. And I feel silly saying that, but I feel like people assume that France is some kind of utopia where citizens do everything perfectly and have this specialized knowledge from birth that like other nationalities don't have and that is not the case it depends on the person their upbringing their habits their interests and not all french people like to cook they don't even know how in some cases and they certainly don't all shop at the farmer's market make every meal from scratch and believe it or not mcdonald's is very popular in france i think the second or third leader after the u.s worldwide in terms of revenue so yeah mcdonald's is popular here and to a degree, the idealistic mealtime notion in France, it's kind of faded. I feel like French food culture is changing. But when it comes to French meals and eating, I will say the French get a lot right. I'll, I'll give them that. And I think I even made a video that I'll link here about my favorite French mealtime habit. And speaking of the biggest myth about French people that I purposely left out, you'll hear that they're rude, they're arrogant. I've done recent videos on that, so I didn't want to repeat all that. And I'll link that here or down below. And as always, I want to hear from you in the comments about what other myths about the French that you've heard that aren't true, or maybe they are in your experience. And if you're planning on visiting France soon, I have an e-guide that's just a few bucks. It has all kinds of tips to help you be more prepared in France and to interact with the French. 75 beginner France tips for a standout trip. You'll find tips on transport, money, culture, that kind of thing. And the e-guide's a way to support my channel. So if you like what I do here, I appreciate you checking it out. Every sale, it helps me to continue being able to make content here. Content that will remain free, not behind a paywall, not with a paid membership, and not on Patreon. So if you purchased my guide and it's helped you out, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Let me know. And with that, I'll leave it here for today. Thank you so much. And I'll see you back here on We in France soon. Salut.